You know, my first guest tonight plays Phoebe on the hit series Friends, and you can see her in the critically acclaimed film, Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. I think this thing's also a smash hit, so it's like number two. Please welcome our pal, Lisa Kudrow. <laughs> are really good. I saw your movie a couple of days ago. It's hilarious. Oh, good. Yeah, it, yeah it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah, I'm glad you think so. That's all. Yeah, yeah, that carries a lot of weight in the entertainment industry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you guys got great reviews, and, uh, I but also... about that. Yeah. Like, from reputable reviewers. <laughs> <laughs> not, no, those, but... not those reviewers you find in the phone book. <laughs> no, but like the high school papers. Sometimes yeah. the movie has to quote them, you know? Right. <laughs> right, when you see, when you... When you <laughs> No, but you got like two thumbs up from Siskel and Ebert, yeah, which is a we cool did. thing, and lots of people really like the movie, and it's doing great. Yeah, it is. We were number two. Number two, which is great. Yeah. How can you beat that? And little girls love it. Little girls love it? Yeah, they're having fun, even though it's rated R, but their moms take them. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they hide them in their purse. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't get why it's... I didn't get why it was R, because the movie doesn't seem like an R movie at all. No, but Janine says that word. Oh, Janine Garofalo in the yeah. movie says a bad word. It says like a bad a, word more than, like, three times, and then you get an R. Yeah, you know? yeah. Words that Buffalo was using earlier in the show. <laughs> hey, he made me mad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet he's scared now. He's, he's, wow, he's awful. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I could have mixed it up with him if I'd wanted to, but I chose not to. That was that was the smarter thing. Very move. smart thing. I More evolved than he is. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, one of the <laughs> things, I was reading uh, reviews of the movie, and they always have to compare it to another movie. Uh, yeah. They always have to say, it's like this movie, it's like that, and they were saying, it's dumb and dumber with women. Yeah. You know, which I thought, that's not really what the movie is, in my opinion. No. And it's also ironic for people that know you. I've known you for a long time. And you're an incredible brainiac. People what? don't know that about you. You're a giant pulsating brain. <laughs> yeah, but I take the wig off. <laughs> it's true. She's like Lex Luthor without the wig. <laughs> yeah, I'm evil, too. I will destroy you now. Uh, no, you're, you, you, you were, you know, pre-med in, in, uh, in college and everything. Yeah, and sure. What, what were you like? To <laughs> Who isn't? Yeah. You invented nuclear fission. People don't know that. Somebody had to. <laughs> Did, uh, and you never talk about it. Did, uh, what were you like in high school? Tell people what you were like in high school. I oh. mean, were you, you weren't like this, uh, you know, valley girl out having lots of fun. No. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was like, oh, I was like 35. Like from the minute I started high school, I had that mentality. You know, everyone would go to like football games mm -hmm. and have fun. And I just, all I could think was, you know, well, we're not going out after the game because I am not going to get a car with a 16-year-old boy who's had a beer. I am just not going to. Uh -huh. Like, where was I brought up? I don't know. And my and whole you... family thought it was really weird, too. They were like normal people who had fun. My sister, mm -hmm. she was like a normal. She went to her prom and had a boyfriend and had a good time. She'd come home on a Saturday night, and I'd be like studying my history book. And she, she would just say, what are you doing? And I'd say, no, I'm going to go out later. I'm going to get a brand muffin with friends. <laughs> like, you know, you got me all wrong. I know I have fun. Yeah. I'm going to eat a brand muffin. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to save some of it for next week, too. With your, butter. Your parents, uh, they're, much, uh, they're actually much uh, li more liberal than you are. You were like the real conservative one. Yeah, much more liberal. One time I was in summer school, and um, I was telling my father, I thought I was being really good. I was telling on my friends. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you know, they're not going to school today. They're going to the beach. And I think it's wrong. And, um, <laughs> and my father went, mm-hmm, it's a nice day out. Why don't you go to the beach, too? And I said, well, that's, that's, that's ditching. <laughs> and he said, yeah, why don't you do it? That's what kids do your age. They ditch. And why are you in summer school? He said, like, screaming at me because I'm Go out, have some fun. And yeah. get rid of that bran muffin. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not having any fun. Well, what kind of, you, you must have gone out with some guys in high school. What kind of guy were you going out with in well, high school? Oh, well. <clears throat> or what kind of guy did you like? Yeah, there was a guy I liked oh, a lot, the surfer guy. He was so cute. And um, oh, I just, he was really quiet, so I thought, well, he's got to be smart because he's just, he's quiet and he's thinking all the time. 
And one time we had a conversation, and he said, oh, please, I hope you get this, or I'm sorry for you. But one time he, um, <laughs> we had a conversation, <laughs> ready? <laughs> you just ensured your own doom, Lisa. <laughs> I just, you know, I just did. You can't um, win either way. It's true. Uh -huh. Good night. <laughs> no, the show but, is over. <laughs> but they, um, that was the curtain coming down. It was a blackout curtain. And earlier, that was you studying. <laughs> At the speed of light. <laughs> All right. So, so, so this guy, you like to say, is a surfer dude. We didn't have yeah. those in Boston, so, but I imagine you had uh, them. Oh, we had them. Mm -hmm. So um, he finally, we finally had a conversation, and we're talking about how his house got robbed once. And he said, yeah, but, you know, they only took, like, small inanimate objects. So it was okay. <laughs> An inanimate object. <laughs> Like his sister, or you know, the pet. Uh huh. And I think I just went, uh huh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I loved you once, and I. <laughs> that was it. My you crush just was over. Away, yeah. well, and he was using like a big word. He was excited. <laughs> you know, oh, God. a small, inanimate object. You know, <laughs> sort of like, he's uh -huh. watching right now. You know, just watching the screen crying. I think he lives in Houston. Oh We're good. <laughs> Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion is at theaters now, and it's doing great. And, of course, friends, Thursday at 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, on NBC, the mm -hmm. real must-see TV. Mm -hmm. And we're thrilled for you. Thanks. We're so happy for you, and you deserve all of it. Thank you. Come on back sometime, you hear? <laughs> okay. All right, that's right. Uh, my friend, Lisa the Brainiac Kudrow, uh, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, did you know that Eric Estrada is coming up? Ponch! Ponch is going to come here.